everybody, this is D. I finally finished my sewing room, so I thought I would show you guys what it looks like. Um, this, all these racks are all my crafts. Um, one whole row is for resin, one whole row is for sewing and buttons and all that kind of stuff. One's for macrame, one's for paper crafts, one's for clay and essential oils and soap making and uh, diamond painting. That's all embroidery thread up there and that's what all that stuff is. Um, this right here is a haunted house I'm building. This is all my painting supplies. And there's a bowling ball down there for me to make. <laughs> and some hoops. Um, here's my basket making cart that I wheel with me when I'm making baskets. This is my bead cart for stitch markers and bracelets. Um, this is uh, antlers. And there's some Mama G art up there. And um, that's reed, and that's more reed supplies and wooden buttons. And the bottom shelf is dyes and beaded trim. This is all my beads. That's some wicker up there, but this is all my beads. This is all my beads. This whole cabinet is for beading. You can't really see because there's a step stool in front of it. Okay, so this is basket supplies, this whole shelf here. I'm um, doing some resin. There's some uh, resin molds for crochet hooks. And this is all my resin making stuff I've been working on. I'll show you guys some of the things that I've made. And it's, this is for making wreaths. And, um, you know, decorations for the house for holidays and things like that. And this right here is my sewing machine and my sewing table. And that is some Mama G art, some Rusty art, some of my granddaughter's art. Um, this pink one here has my mom's handprints, uh, some of her hair. And that spoon right there that she used every day for medications and picking up things and whatever. And this is my handprint. And that is a lady I used to take care of, Mary. She was 97 when she passed. Here's some more rusty art and granddaughter art. Okay, here's some of the resin I've been making. Um, this was my first attempt, and I did it absolutely backwards, because, see the flowers? <laughs> They're on the wrong side. This is, uh, for setting pictures on, like that, or you can set your phone on it. There's a couple little skulls, and a pyramid. I'm not real great at it yet. I'm trying. I'm working on it. There's a little crystal. There's some skulls. Here's a tray with four-leaf clovers and sparkles. And here's a bottle to match it. Kind of goes with it. I'm not great at it yet, but I'm getting there. And there's my sewing machine. There's my other sewing machine. Okay, this is all my fabric here and patterns and buttons. And that is a catch-all basket. Here's my mannequin. Behind her is a bunch of craft books. Behind the mannequin is a bookshelf. There's a bunch of my tote bags. And that whole container there, that's all resin stuff as well. So this is uh, my sewing craft room. the chaos that it is but I know where everything is <laughs> okay so this is all it's what I've been promising to show y'all and I'm very happy because I can find everything I need to find and it's all the way to the ceiling 
those are all basket handles up there and that's all reed and there's more reed behind this table that I got here using it for resin that's my hot light but yeah so and here's a a macrame piece that I made many years ago I don't know if you can see it's not focusing very well but there's that so that's it I just wanted to show you my sewing slash craft room and look at the oh and the little black kitties I'm gonna make something out of those maybe necklaces or something kind of cute we got a resin. I'm practicing. We'll see how things go with that. And then right across the hallway is my yarn room, which Mark still hasn't put up my shelves yet. But let's see if we can do this. There's all my big yarn and some sparkle yarn up there. There's all my Hirschner's. There's a bunch of ice yarn and yarn bee. Um, there's some more Hirschners, more ice, more yarn art. This right here is all Melabrigo. Uh, more sparkle yarn. That's reflective yarn. That's Studio 101. Those two things there. Some mohair. There's a bunch of big twist sparkle. And that there is the Kramer Sparkle. And then a bunch of cakes and all those kinds of things there. A whole bunch of different Stanley and yarn art. There's the Blue Heron, my favorite. There's Karen Simply Soft. There's more there. There is Magic Glitz. Um different kinds of ice yarns there's a whole bunch of shawl and a ball there's uh unforgettable 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 that's the blue heron this is unforgettable unforgettable that is moroccan nights down there unforgettable and carnival that's carnival from hobie that's naco more shawl and a ball. And there's Gemma. And there's all the one pounders. Big twist one pounders. I ain't making you dizzy. This whole rack, this whole thing is Hobie cotton. Uh, the little hanks of Hobie cotton. And then there's some other things back behind Gemma. Here's a bunch of the sparkle yarn that me and Mark had dyed. There's my new addition to the room, Shirley Temple. Um, there's all my minis. There is the hippie van. There's Marilyn Monroe and Mrs. Beasley. Okay, let's see. There's... Um, semi-precious stone wind chime that I made. Um, there's things that other people had made me. There's a tree. Um, all my witchy poo stuff. <laughs> and those are Mama G's flowers there. And there's furls yarn. Um, Leather yarn. That right there is Thrust and Stitches yarn. There's Colorama down there, Sparkle. That is uh, like paper, um, Raffia. Um, there's the tree I made. And there's my yarn cozies that I made the tutorial for. Um, this is all Knit Crate. Till we get up to here. Now this is all hanks of darn good yarn. There's a bunch of darn good yarn up there. There's my motorcycle license plate. There's a bunch of darn good yarn behind there. Darn good yarn. There's Noro. 
Here's a mixture of Darren Good Yarn and Noro. Some more Hanks. Crochet Society. There's a big pumpkin that I made. And there's some cloud cakes. Some sheep she's up there. Um, butterfly and date night and Hobie uh, universe uh, a lot of date night got some of the loops and thread stuff I just got underneath them some whirly gigs um, there's different things there now this is the closet area now TT go now and this is deceiving because I put that in front of it. This actually goes back behind it. And this is mainly um, Hirschner's 8, um, things like that. And then this is all um, Kramer. There's a bunch of different kits and things up there. Those are my whips that mess there. <laughs> A um, bunch of different, kind of a mixture of yarns here. Um, ombre, uh, sparkle yarn, scrubby yarn, um, spools, a lot of different things here. A bunch of anti-pilling premiere and a bag of bags. <laughs> okay, this is... The melange there. Um, I forget what that's called. Spun color. There's the Hirschners. There's some Hobie. And some Ferris wheel. Karen Latte cakes. And um, Mandala. Big skinny cakes. Um... She's all different kinds of cakes. There's a bunch of mandala there. Um, this bag. There's all my um, amigurumi kits. A bunch of mandala. This is the ba the big giveaway so far this month. That's about, I don't know, four foot tall bag. <laughs> Pretty big. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go up and over. Now, Mark is supposed to be putting me shelves on this wall, and that's where my desk is for when I'm filming lives. This is all cotton. All of this is all the cotton cakes and hanks and all the different cottons that, you know, I love cotton. It's my favorite. That gray bag there is Sophie's Universe. And that basket there is all the squares that everyone made for my mama's blanket that I haven't got the heart to touch yet. There's Mark's chair. Okay, we're going to go over here. This is all yarn that me and Mark have dyed in the past couple of days. It'll be in the dib sale. I know it's all jumbled up. None of the matching ones are with the matching ones. But... Uh, that is all the yarn that we have dyed. This back here is my stitch marker holder and my gnomes. I made a bunch more bracelets. I made a bunch more stitch markers. Um, that's kind of like where I sit. These are upcoming videos right there. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. And there's Mark. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's the yarn room, minus the shelves that aren't up yet for the crochet books and looms. That's where they're going there. And you got to see the new craft room. So there you go. I just thought I would share that with y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. And let me go this way. And we'll say goodbye with this. All my, my little dolls and things there. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. I kind of forgot to show you the rug. This is the rug that I wove on the big loom that I told you guys about. Um, 
it was made out of two by fours and nails. I made the loom. And then uh, I weaved all the big yarn I could find, sheets of bath or bed sheets, all different kinds of stuff to make this colorful rug. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Good vibes only. Bye, guys.